with 26 hectares of greenhouses spread across 14 locations that all needed shading, I realised that this was going to be a big job, but it's not till you see it from the air that you realise just how big. Logistics was going to be key to a smooth operation. That meant plenty of batteries and a good supply of mixed shading agents. Fortunately, these big batteries recharge in only 15 minutes, so they wouldn't restrict us. And the ground team got busy mixing up batches of 450 litres of Q4 shading agent, ready to refill the drone's tanks. Once the greenhouse was mapped, it's simply a tap on the app and the drone gets to work. From previous experience, we knew that we would get a good, even coverage with the drone flying two metres above the glass and with an application rate of around 600 litres per hectare. For the last 15 years, XAG drones have pioneered the use of spinning disc applicators, also known as CDA or controlled droplet applicators. These have two big advantages over conventional nozzles. You can control the droplet size accurately without high pressure tanks, but their main advantage is that they just don't block, even when you're spraying thicker suspension liquids like paint. To ensure we were operating within the visual line of sight rules, we split the greenhouse into two sections, so when the drone reaches the end of each run, it automatically moves to the next one. For this application, we'd set the drone to spray while transitioning between runs to ensure we got a good even coverage. As you can see from the results, the settings have been pretty well dialed in. The glass was getting well coated, which gave an ideal shading for plant growing areas. And in the main production areas where lots of staff work, we gave a second pass to give even greater shading to help keep temperatures down. This ability to layer your shading has proved to be a big advantage in optimising conditions in the growing and production areas. When the drone's 20 litre spray tank is empty, it pauses to note its exact location and then heads straight back to the takeoff point for a refill. As you can see, the takeoff and landing area is restricted to general staff, with only the ground crew given access to comply with the drone code good practice and local health and safety rules. Although it's not necessary to swap out the battery each time you refill the tank, it's a good practice to get into, and as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. It also makes good logistical sense to always have a full tank ready to swap in, but I wouldn't recommend filling up lots of tanks long in advance in case the shading agent starts to settle out. Efficiency is all in the timing. Refilled and recharged, the drone is ready to take off and get back to work. It rapidly flies back to the point where the tank ran out, drops to the programmed flying height and goes straight back to work. With a 20 litre tank and an application rate of 600 litres per hectare, it doesn't take a genius to work out that you'll be repeating this process pretty regularly on large greenhouses. For this type of intense spray work, we find that we're refilling every five to six minutes, so getting your pit stop slick makes a big impact on efficiency. But if you're watching this video, you'll know already that regular fill-ups on the ground are much preferable and a whole lot safer than the old method of having men balancing on gutters while they drag a long heavy spray hose from one end to the other. So when the tank is empty again, you know exactly what happens next. It's a rapid return to the takeoff point for a quick tank and battery swap. You'll soon get into a steady rhythm and with a little practice, you'll be coating a hectare before you break for lunch and another before you call it a day in the evening. When seen from the air, it's an impressive job. When this shot was taken, the area to the right had had two coats and the area to the left only one. Not only had this taken half the time it would have taken to do manually, we'd only used half the amount of shading agent. And best of all, no one had had to risk their lives to do it. Thanks XAG.